Hello everyone, my name is Travis. I've come here real quick to give you a little something here. For those of you who know, you can skip over the video, but if you ever wanted to look up like how to make a good build on Destiny 2 and ever come across YouTubers that say, I say the following. Ah, so if you get this and use your overload bow, then in theory, this should work with the wish under bow. It should synergize perfectly well with this bow, allowing you to cause overload champions to be stunned. It's going to let you know now. The reason why I say that is because I've actually heard of these videos. And there are videos that have been recently made too. And for some reason, it's not just one. It's quite a few videos that swear by wish under being a very good bow to synergize with the overload anti I guess anti overload champion mod every time I look at these videos I just have to hit my hand on my head because I think I don't know if these youtubers know how if some of these youtubers at least not all but I don't know if these guys know how wish under works or know that the fact that wish under already has an intrinsic anti barrier champion anti champion mod in it already and therefore since it already has one anti champion mod it cannot have both that's impossible to do uh, the reason why i say this is because it's quite literally in the intrinsic trait here under queen's wrath while aiming down sights with a fully drawn bow all the way to the end combatants behind the walls are highlighted and arrow pierce and arrows pierce shields strong against barrier champions this means you, Be ready. hold on we got a public event there this means that technically you cannot use the anti over you can't use the overload bow with the wish ender they do not work together and therefore your anti barrier mod that this intrinsically has will always take supremacy over the seasonal mod in this case even before this became a seasonal mod or i guess it always has been but even before the lightfall rework this was always the case any weapon with an intrinsic perk cannot gain an additional anti-champion effect to it and i will show you I'm going to go ahead and go through the Lost Sector for this time around, which is the Chamber of Starlight. Uh, for those of you who don't know where that is, that is right here in the Array of Sylvia. Uh, let me bring you up here in the Dreaming City. So we're going to go ahead and go through this Lost Sector. And I'm going to show you how this does not work. So if you ever see any youtuber who comes up with a build and happens to come across the anti or the overload bow mod if they do mention that oh yeah this will work especially with wish ender please just know that it does not it will work with others if you can stun them like as you see here i'm gonna go ahead and like he's stunned I'm go ahead and shoot him this actually does do quite a bit of damage. I, I love it. Even without the stun, as you can see, it's doing like about 6k damage. Go ahead and stun him. And now we're doing like 14, 15k here. And for the most part, this actually does do well against other shield types too. Generally, we'll go through shields. But... It specifically does not work with, like watch, over Void Shield, pretty good. But it does not work with Overloads. Let me just go ahead and get through all this. Booyah. I can't see. Just 
going to go ahead and do this. The good thing is these enemies do tend to be very predictable. So you could quite like tell what they're going to do next. As you can see. So I'm going to go ahead and go on. I want to get rid of you guys so bad. Just gonna go ahead and do that. All right. Okay, I just suck. Alright, so those are regular hobgoblins. They'll do some work on the regular hobgoblins. So I'm going to let you know now, they won't do anything against the champions. Okay, I get stuck. Get wrecked, me. Enjoy this while it lasts. done. Woo! Does that explosion, man. go. Perfect. Or I just die because this titan is just balls ass slow. I wish they were a little bit faster, but I did opt in for the, I guess for the ultimate, uh, I guess controlled glide because it's either way too high or way too fast.
All right, so we're at this standstill now. Let me get rid of those guys. We're gonna make sure that only the boss is pretty much around and this champion, because honestly, everything else is super annoying to have here. Okay, that gets rid of that guy. All right, you see this guy right here? The overload? We have our overload mod on, as you can see. Our overload bow's on. We got our wish ender. We're gonna put this to rest. I say that's not gonna ever happen, but you know, let's do this. Oh, look. He does get a little stunned, but he doesn't get like, he does get taken aback, but he doesn't ever get stunned. In fact, he goes on absolute overdrive with his little helpers, which is absolutely very annoying. And unfortunately, with the current setup I have with my weapons, I'll never be able to stun him. It's just not going to happen. This guy is not a problem. I could just do this, and then boom. But as you can see, this champion cannot be stunned with the wish ender as much as the people would like for weapons to carry multiple effects and be able to do just about everything the fact of the matter is it does not I'll just go ahead and finish this out. If I'm not constantly getting like lucky shots being hit toward me, then it should be okay. Alright, so as you can see now, we have officially did everything we can. I'm gonna go ahead and collect the loot here. Cool. Let's test this out. Hmm. Yep. And as you can see, I went down, but yeah. That's just pretty much to prove this point. Wish Ender does not work with Overload Bow. If you ever see any YouTuber out there that says otherwise, they are dead wrong. And this is proof. Thank you guys, and uh, see you guys next time.